This is an Army Today. The Everglades is the largest environmental restoration project in U.S. history. It was like an instant love. A love he discovered 24 years ago. A lot of people like to call me an artist, but I like to call myself a teacher. Teaching on the edge of the Everglades National Park, Clyde Butcher captures the essence of the Everglades with over 1,000 plant species. Uh, we have oaks, pines, cabbage palms, cypress, ferns, orchids, bromeliads, probably one of the most diverse places in the United States. Um, and one of the most alive places. We have what we used to call extravagant abundance. We used to have bird life that was so thick that when they, take, when they took off, they would black out the sun. We're trying to reestablish that. We have a long ways to go. One of the first steps is restoring the water flow to the river of grass. Because the park is dying of thirst. A roadway, the Tamiami Trail, is the number one restoration priority for the Everglades National Park. The problem with uh, this roadway is it's basically a dam across 10.7 miles and it blocks the flow to the park. In fact, the flow getting across here is about a third of what it should be naturally. Our number one partner is the Corps of Engineers. This is a monumental step for the Corps in restoring a lot of the national treasures, but also we're gaining valuable lessons in ecosystem restoration. The restoration journey, including 68 projects, is one that can take 30 years to complete. In the meantime, Clyde Butcher will continue to capture the timeless beauty of the Everglades. Mary Cochran, Big Cypress, Florida.